All right, so I'm already getting a bunch of emails from you guys about um, ways to stand at a kitchen sink. And so I thought I would go through this a little bit just to give you a little bit more information. Okay, so my particular kitchen sink is pretty short and it's deep, it's really deep. And so, so I'm touching the bottom of it now. Um, and so for me to wash dishes there, um, I'm not that tall, you know, maybe five, six, something like that. So um, for me to wash dishes, I have to bend down because this is deep. And so the weight of my head is going forward and pulling on my neck and my back. And I mean, I'll, I'll wash dishes like this, you know, we all get tired and, and I end up really being in a lot of pain. Um, and I know better. I know that I shouldn't wash dishes like that. And um, so I try to remind myself and I also teach my clients different ways to wash dishes. This particular instance, um, I can do a basic hip hinge. And if you um, don't know what a hip hinge is, it's basically keeping your torso in neutral alignment and truly hinging at the hips. So I'm, I'm pulling my hips behind me and as I do so, my knees bend. And I'll be posting more about this um, because it's a major motion of the body. We do it all the time. So getting in and out of chairs. Anyway, so I could do a basic hip hinge, right? But then because my sink is so deep, I, when I bend down far enough to get my hands into the water, I'm just bending way too far to be this close to a counter. And so I have to make up for that slack somehow. So I, I can't bend any farther and wash the dishes. And this would really hurt my back if I tried to be upright like this and wash my dishes um, because I can't reach the dishes. So what I have to do is think about, okay, there's another part, major motion of the spine, and that is the ability to flex. And we practice that all the time when we do sit-ups, right? People practice this motion and so what I do is I'm gonna get into my basic hip hinge and then go, okay, I still can't reach that far, so what do I need to do? And so I'm going to do a basic abdominal flexion move to support the weight of my head because if I'm here trying to work and I can't reach forward, I'm gonna start dropping my head down. And so I don't want that to happen because all the weight goes into my neck. So to not do that, I'm going to flex my torso to support the weight of my head as I'm washing my dishes. And so I do have a little bit of flexion going on there with that hip hinge. Now, if I were, um, if I had a sink that were higher or a sink that wasn't as deep, this would be the best position to wash my dishes, just a slight bend. And if I were shorter, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But if I were really tall, you know, what do people who are very tall, I'm not that tall, what do people who are very tall do? Because if you think about being this high and trying to wash dishes in this sink, it's gonna cause a lot of back pain. And so you can do a bunch of different things. And even my height, I can do a bunch of different things. I could go into a wider squat, right? I can take my legs broader out to the side instead of being in parallel. I could go wider to the side and um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going really wide here. And then I could bend, right? So I'm kind of in this like squat, in this kind of a squat. And then I could work that way. Um, but truth be told, this is gonna be exhausting after a little while. Um, that's why if you're in gym classes and you do that move it, um, over and over, it gets tiring. So that's not gonna be sustainable for a long period of time. And so another thing that I can do is I can, instead of dumping my hips, um, let me fix that. Instead of dumping my hips into the sink, right? I could lean into the sink this way, almost like I'm doing a plank. So I'm in a plank position and I'm gonna hinge at my ankles, hinge forward at my ankles so that I can still be upright like this. And I can do that by taking my legs wider. So my legs stay straight and I'm just hinging forward and I'm gonna go even wider and hinge forward. So my back stays straight and then I can reach the bottom of my sink. And so truth be told, I actually wash my dishes like this a lot with my legs in this kind of wide V position. And I'll show you that. And so my legs 
are, sorry, this isn't the best view, but I have my legs in this wide position and I'm hinging forward at my ankles in this plank position. So I'm resting here and then I'm able to wash my dishes. So um, I tend to encourage people to go through a variety of movements when they're doing anything because just being stationary all the time isn't good either. And so you wanna to try to maybe, you know, maybe I'll start off by bending and maybe putting my elbows here and washing my dishes like this, or maybe I'll go into that wide leg stance and go into that forward position and wash my dishes like this. But any position is gonna get, you know, tiring over time. And so you wanna keep moving around and keep playing with it. Um, obviously my sink or my um, countertop is low so there's also all kinds of modifications that I'll do to bring my countertop higher so that when I'm cooking, it's not as much um, tension on my, on my back and neck um, and computers and standing desks and the list goes on. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, just let us know. Um, it's what we do all day and we can answer those questions. We can look at your situation too if anybody needs private sessions so that we can help you figure out what's best um, for your situation. Anyway, thanks so much, and I hope this answered the questions that I'm, I'm getting right now. Bye.